Okay, set my mic up. Yep, set the mic up. It's fine, we're recording. Got my cup of tea, take a sip of that. And off we go. So welcome back guys, this is Jay from the Game of UK. And I'm here with part f part 38 um, of Digimon World 2003. Now, a little explanation is needed. Um, thanks to my intellectual brain, my uh, fantastic brain of mine, I deleted another video. Yes, another video. Da 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 da. Uh, basically, in the last video, um, I was supposed to just get a North Sector um, from West Sector, which I am here now, and just just basically show you how to get there uh, and show Digmon off and you know blah 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 what happens there, um, and just just sort of you know just just to say oh yeah this is where we're going to be next. Now I don't know why, but I deleted part 38 thinking I uploaded it, and so. Truth be told, I've already been in North Sector. <laughs> I've already been in North Sector. Um, I've already summoned Digmon. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry. There's no, there's no like special, special cutscene that you've missed or anything. Nothing like that. Um, the character doesn't say anything. But just let you know, I'm ar I've already been in North Sector. I've already trained up to level 50, 54, 55 to Gearmon. He just got lucky there. Um, got techniques. Um, obviously, a lot more money. Uh, and I also accidentally threw to the training area. I actually accidentally fought a mini boss. But do not despair, because I have recorded it. It's just without any uh, commentary. So I'll chop that in when we get to that point. So unfortunately, I don't know what the hell I did, but I screwed up. But we are back, finally, after grinding my life away. Oh, so I do apologize for the wait. Um, but you know, I, I accidentally fought um, a mini boss, and I kind of won quite easily. So I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to try and record now because I'm trying to get up to level 55. Again, when I just, he just got lucky when I was on when I was random encounters on the way back here. Um, but yeah, I didn't do too bad. Uh, but basically, now I can, we can we can sort of just get into it. We can. Go to North Sector. Um, there's no gonna. It's not gonna be like a massive, massive break pause where you have to see me, gr you know, wait for me grinding because I've done it. And um, so we can get in there and do what we need to do. So basically, what we need to do in this episode, or, or so, basically our goal is to get the four leader badges. So we need to go into North Sector, beat the fourth leader, uh, and then find the emergency chamber to go to the real world. If you guys remember. So, and hopefully it'll be some more voice acting. Maybe not in this, in this one, but uh, <laughs> when I get to the mini bosses and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so I believe in the last episode I did say I would go back to a super server from the uh, and the Amar I can never say the Amarat Amarateresu or whatever it is Teresu um, server. I should know this. I'm learning Japanese. Um, and yeah, you go back through the uh, the forest inn where Bolvmon made the hole in. Blah blah blah. I just didn't. Seem really point of showing that, so I cut it all the way up to the West Sector. So we want to go back to West Sector, um, so we can go to uh, was it is this what's this Poach Oasis or whatever it is? Yes, yeah, so you want to go to Poach Oasis, and then we want to go over to the North Badlands. I think it's W, North Badland W. Yeah, yeah, West 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 part. So we want to go to here, and this is where we can go straight to North Sector. Now, granted. There's other ways to get to North Sector, but this was like the common way because if you speak to certain people, I can't remember who, but they do tell you there's a way to get to North Sector through West Sector, and that's the one they expect you to go through. But because we have Digmon, you can go other ways. But personally, I think this is the quickest, the quickest, the quickest way in my opinion. Um, but as I go through, I'll probably show you a few shortcuts to different areas like North Sector to straight away to East Sector and things like that. You know, just, just to make it easier on yourselves. So basically, we go up here and can you remember those little holes you might have seen? Yeah, that's the holes we want to go through with Digmon. That sounds good. But um, random encounters. Yeah, so I... I might as well I might just say here, I've um, been training Geomon and I've got Mega Gargomon. Now, 
time for a bit of Digimon World Series history. Ga Mega Gargamon is basically from Series 3. Um, and was Terriamon, which is the rookie, Terriamon's Mega. Now, that being said, you're probably thinking, why why Geomon? Well, you know, simple answer is Terramon is not in this game, and I'm really disappointed. You, 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 the only time you see Terriamon is in the Inn of the Asuka Inn, um, and that's it. You you can't raise him or nothing, which is a shame, considering you can raise Geomon, third series. You can raise Renamon, third series. But you can't raise Terriamon. I don't know why, I'm, I'm guessing maybe just wasn't liked very much. Um, but... But yeah, as a little disappointing. I kind of liked Terriamon. I thought it was a kind of like a, you know, kind of like a cute but powerful Digimon. Like, I kind of, it kind of reminds me a little bit like Pikachu. And if Pikachu could speak, that would be Terriamon. I, I don't know why. That's just that's just what I would think. But anyway, so yeah, now we've got an exclamation mark just like uh, Submarimon. Let's go. Summon. Now I am recording this with my HD PBR now. Um, so the quality might be a little bit better, but uh, I'm probably going to do a tutorial. I'll just basically say there's not too much different unless you're actually recording this through an HDMI, which I can't because my TV doesn't have that. But this is the circuit board, and yes, just like when we're Submarium Mom, we control them under the deep sea water. We are Digmon in the uh, circuit board. Very colourful circuit board. Anyway, yeah, in certain areas you can speak to certain Digimon, like there'll be, um, I'll say there's Patamon here. Normally to tell you there's like an entrance or something, but if you speak to Patamon, I think this exit is Asuka's North Badlands W. Maybe I'll go up north and return to Asuka's North Sector. So it's kind of like hinting you saying, let's go north. Now, this is south, basically. Digmon face and now it's north. This is south, I can do it. This is um, west and this is uh, east. So basically, it's it's not too straightforward, but it didn't take me too long to find my way when I first did this when I was younger. But you you can get lost in this place. You will see a lot of this kind of circuit board, the blue and red one. Now you're probably thinking north. So yeah, you want to go. North. We don't want to go northwest. We want to go north. So yeah, this is pretty much what what's it going to be like. And these are just like random obstacles you can break. Um, and of course, you will encounter Digimon as well. And they're going to be tougher, of course. But pretty much, if you can handle Digimon here, you can handle them in the um, in the north sector as well. So we go down here, and Digimon encounter. Uh, we get a Dramogimon, and I think Ramon sometimes. Yeah, there you go, D Dramogimon. So yeah, anyway, I got Mega Gargamon. The reason why I, I actually went for him is just because, personally, I wanted to build up Geomon's level before I used Gallantmon, which is his proper. Because Gallantmon is decent, but he's he's the kind of Digimon that has to use their power against against you. Um, so if Gallantmon takes a lot of damage and uses a powerful counter, he can deal a lot of damage. But obviously, you have to be able to survive. So I thought I'd use Mega Gargamon because he's kind of like more powerful in that sort of sense. Because obviously, like I say, Gallantmon is for countering, um, and Mega Gargamon is just all you know, guns blazing and everything. So I figured, why not raise him? And then after I've got him up to max, I'll probably go over to Gallantmon and train him up. By that time, Geomon may be like level 60, 65, maybe something like that. We'll see how we go. I also got Omnimon, but um, from the first movie, always liked him. Anyway, when you know you're on the right track, you normally get Digimon like sometimes in the middle. Like say you got Renamon here. This tunnel is only connected to a super server. If you go north, you will reach North Sector. So there you go. So we just have to keep going this way. Now this can throw you off because knowing we know that North is the direction that Digmon is now facing now. You know that. Uh, the opposite is south, west, east. So you're probably thinking, I just need to go and do exactly what I did before and go over here. No, don't go over here. This is where the path branches. You must go northwest. So you have to go up here. See, th now there's Nogamon. Speak to him. Go north to Asuka's north sector. Powerful Digimon attainments are in north sector. Kind of scary. 
It can be, but we're alright. We'll, we'll be fine, Ogamon. So, yeah. Th I think I may have made this mistake before. I looked around and I was like, huh? And then I happened to see an Ogamon. I was like, ooh. And I went to speak to him and he said, go north. And I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe I'm supposed to go up here. And when you get up to here, this is normally where you're pretty much going to end up somewhere else. So, well, in, in these sort of ones, later on you'll find that you'll end up going to a lot of dead ends, because there are dead ends in these places. Sometimes with items, sometimes with Digimon, sometimes nothing, obviously it's just a dead end. So anyway, yeah, let's keep going. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And um, I would like to say that I don't actually... I'm not too fond of the music in this. Yeah, it's Ramon. I'm not too fond of the music for Jumerogemon. I prefer the Submerimon uh, track. <laughs> uh, personally, I did absolutely nothing. Oh, I forgot his machine and he tra trash or whatever. Yeah. But, um. I probably prefer the way Digmon handles compared to Submerimon, personally. I, I feel like Submerimon's just. It just takes too long to pick up acceleration, and I don't know. It seems like I got I get stopped a lot more, stopped a lot more. Um, with Digmon, I feel like you've just got you've got that constant pace, but you know, you know, you've got more control. Personally, that that's just in my opinion. You don't have to hold triangle to accelerate. You just move in with directional pads. I think that's a lot better. Anyway, we go up to the hole. I would have liked if they like he'd like digged his way up the hole, but he just kind of randomly. You know, oh, ascended to heaven, and here we are. We are in North Sector. I, I kind of always like the look of it. So this is Boot Mountain, um, and as you may have or may have not guessed it, yep, very lucky there. This is the best place to get the top card mod. Now I've never actually fought card mod at this level. I fought him when I was five levels under, and I just barely beat him. So. Granted, I haven't really learned any techniques, so I'm just kind of relying on my attack. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Of course, I'm probably going to get cursed, because, as you may have, may or may not realise, you normally get cursed by Cardmon the weaker you are. So say, like, if you can barely fight him, you're going to be, the more chance you're going to get cursed. But if you can beat him quite easily, and he, you know, ha I don't know, happens to survive at least one turn, if he hits you, you're less likely to get cursed. And of course, the best trainers, in theory, are here. Obviously, if you go into amateur, um, uh, if you go into the other server, the amateur two server, um, and you go to the north sector in that sec section, technically that's the hardest area in the whole game. Um, in that sort of sense. So, yeah, you get. I think you get like was it 11 B I got. Yeah, so you get like 11 B booster packs in here. So this would be a good place to kind of like build up. And grind. If you get it, if you get to the other server, the north sector, you can get like 14B, 15B. The only problem with them is that if you're after PG cards, you're best not to get 14 and 15B because I tend to find that they just have Mega Digimon. There's nothing wrong with Megas. Megas, you know, they're the most powerful in the game. But when it cards, cards. When it, <laughs> when it comes to actual card battling, like I say, Megas cost three blocks. Um, Ultimate 2, Champion 1, and Rookie 0. You don't want too many Megas, unless you're using a brown, brown deck. Because like I say, all brown Digimon do not take up any blocks at all. Um, downside is, they're so easily to just... There's so many cards to destroy them. That's the only downfall. But anyway, 11B is pretty decent, so you start to get a lot better cards. Ultimates, Megas, better PG cards that you know boost, boost all your Digimon and whatnot. Um... So yeah, and, and this is where, pretty much after I've done um, the main bits, this is where we start to get to the legendary cards and everything and whatnot. Um, you, you can uh, speak to some of the trainers here and um, battle them. Um, I don't know whether she's going to battle me here or if she's going to car, but I'm just going just gonna to speak to her and see what's going on. <laughs> I am the best female tamer. No one in this server can defeat me. You might be the best female, but I'm the best male. Be thankful that you can duel with me. Okay, yeah, she's gonna card battle. They normally do card battle. Um, like I say, if you the higher you, normally the higher the, your charisma is, depending on you know whether you're gonna win or not. Personally, I think I'm gonna lose because these are like top, you know, these are top players. So at the end of the day, and I haven't really upgraded my deck. I probably should have ultimates and better PG cards, but I don't. 
So if I win, I'd be I'd be surprised personally. But we'll see how we go. But I remember she can be quite difficult. So yeah. Okay. Wasn't quite expecting that, but I'm guessing yeah, here we go. You might have seen this before. This is control parts. Now this is kind of like where you can start to get good cars like these. You know, basically she's going to take one of my cars and put it as her own. Hence the name. Kind of like the change of heart in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just going to try and summon Devimon here. Build up. Here. That's going to try and destroy, um, I think it's all the brown Digimon in my hand, but that was pointless. It's actually one. So that wasn't too bad. That control parts can really screw you over. But it's a good card to have. Definitely. If you can get it, I would recommend getting it. Definitely. Oh, god damn it. I want to get Calamon. Yeah, so I, I got, I've got like a little bit of Megas, but honestly I don't have that much. The Seed Cloak, that's good. That's basically like the Digimon Charge slash Program Charge, Trade Charge, but there's no, you know, Program Charge, you're going to get Program Card. Digimon Charge, you're going to get a Digimon Card. Trade Charge, obviously, you, you can have what you want, but you have to put something in the trash. The Seed Cloak is basically that, but you don't have to trade anything, so you can just draw something from your deck, you know. Choose whatever you want, basically. Use our Charge Terminal. Uh, more monster cards, not really what I wanted. You may say you can never have too many monster cards, but in this case you kind of need a good balance of uh, monster cards and stuff. And of course he chose Garbage Mon, because you know it's the strongest and stuff. Oh well. She's probably got another control parts, Let's see how we go. Nothing else I can actually do, so... Okay, she's got um, Chaos Virus, which destroys a non-black Digimon. Okay, she was as hard as I thought. My Charisma must be quite low. I don't know why. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be. Normally, when I normally when I fight these trainers, um, they're normally really hard. So I don't know. I don't know. Not too sure about that. I know sometimes if you speak to certain people, like, like I say, plot events, they change things as well. So maybe I just haven't got to that plot event bit yet. But yeah, she's not very good, really. <laughs> Normally she is, but she isn't. But anyway, we want to go to uh, the, 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 the Gembu City. So we're going to do that now. This is mainly, like I said, this is mainly going to be just going there and showing off. Yeah, we've got recolors coming along. It's uh, Triceramon. You may have seen him in a boss battle. I love those horns. No, I don't really. I, I'm just like, <laughs> I look at them and they remind me of like Spyro the Dragon horns. I, <laughs> what is up with that though? <laughs> what is up with those horns? And of course, this uh, Triceramon is a lot stronger than the other one, but we can handle the level we are. Personally, I think you want to be a Mega by now, at least. I've seen people, they've they've done things as ultimates and I'm thinking it must be quite difficult though, you know, making it harder for yourself. Some people just, you know, going with one Digimon. I, I, I did that the first time I played, I got so bored that I ended up just training Geomon. Worst, you know, worst mistake ever. Geomon was pretty much the, the weakest out of the three, so I should have chose Kumamon and I probably would have gotten a lot further. Then go there if you want to rest. There's a girl there you can battle. She's not too bad. She's a little difficult, but she isn't too bad. For some reason, she thinks you're a hero. So apparently, apparently we're we're actually known. We've got up to North Sector, and if we speak to some tamers, they say things like, "Oh, you're you're not number one in the Suga. I am," and "Oh, I know you. You're you're, you're saving the world." And I'm like, "Oh, you, you guys have heard of me then." Despite that, slight spoiler, we can't just get the badge, we have to beat the leader. You know. I know all their duties and that, you know, don't, don't worry about the world, They'll, it'll just get destroyed, you know. Just get destroyed, or well, you know, just, just like, yeah, so I can't give you a badge, you know. All of a sudden, Pokemon flashbacks. Anyway, Freeze Mountain. 
So yeah, we're in the coal part of the north sector. And I kind of I kind of like the look of of this area. Um it's nice. Um in, in one of the other areas, there's like a it's kind of like a wild like a like um a mine mine mining area and it's got like a what I call a bit like a roller coaster ramp thing, so let's speak to this guy. World champ is everyone's dream. I'll be one. Will you now? I'll defeat you in a duel first. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Yeah, so we're getting up to 20 minutes, so I'm probably going to cut off as soon as I get in the city. And, uh, and we'll go battle the leader. We're going to do that today as well. I want to record as much as I can. Um, like I say, now I've got my HTP VR and I've grinded, I can finally start to move things forward. And do more. Which is what I want to do. That's that, I'm probably gonna. I, prob I probably am going to do like a little tutorial on how I've set up my HTP VR. It's probably not the best way, but I've done enough tests, I think, to set it the way I, I mean, I'm using com you know, composites, so. And if I one day get an, H in an HD TV, which will either be. I would be lucky, or you know, if I just happen to think, oh, I'm just going to buy a pre-owned one or something, get rid of this TV, or, um, or I, I don't know, or it might even be until I like get my own place, which would be a good while. This would be like years later, so <laughs> I'm hoping to sort something out then. But and the quality isn't terrible. Really, like I say, I think it's still a bit better than the Dazzle. And I can kind of record it in widescreen. Not wide enough, but, you know, decent amount. I don't have Sony Vegas, so I can't crop it or anything. Oh, we totally dominated this guy. Oh, we're dominating this guy, that sounds good, don't it? Uh, Kind of the hope of a charge terminal. Oh, I like that card. The e coil cycle. You can bring a card from, that you've that are in that's in your trash back to your hand. I like that. If I can get that, I'm definitely going to use that. I'd recommend it as well. I'm surprised none of them have used free. Whoa, free Okua mods. Now this is where things start to get difficult. Ooh, I wonder if he's going to stop me from using this. Let's see. No, no, no. Okay. What's gonna do now? Ooh, Chrono Balance. No, not Chrono Trigger. Chrono Balance basically what it says it makes both players' hands have free cards. Now, if you have nothing in your hand, you'll draw free cards. Same with your opponent. Obviously, if you have six cards in your hand, you have to lose three. So I'd get that and you know use it wisely and everything. So anyway, I'm gonna draw three cards here thanks to the opponent. Uh, I can use Devmon, I guess. I'm not going to do anything, see what he does. Yeah, he's just going to boost up the Kuomon's attack. We're still alright, so I ain't going to do anything. Okay. Personally, we're still alright, so I ain't going to do anything. I think. Just. We should have one hit point left. Yeah. There we have it. So a bit difficult, but not too bad for me. 13A, that's not that's nice. Um, about to get some megas, maybe. I'll have a look at that. Rats, I can't believe I lost to you. I won't forget this. I'll win next time. That's what they all say. <laughs> uh, anyway, coming up to Gembu City. I haven't actually looked at the weapons, but I think the weapons are similar to the ones in the uh, other server. Um, so I probably won't need anything. Yeah, Battlegate, Battlestar Galactica, Stargate Command. I don't know anything like that. Any sort of space space program on the sun. And I do like this theme. I will admit. We tighten security because of Bayako and Asuka, so they definitely know what's going on. So the AOA hasn't come here. Good to know. Welcome to the Fort City, Gembu City. Even the AOA isn't here. You can relax. I don't think the hero can relax, mate. Just saying. Anyway, I'm just going to rest. So yeah, we, we're going to have to speak to this and 
the lady will be like, please, pretty please give me the badge, and it's going to be like, no. And then we're going to be like, oh, fine. <laughs> Do it the hard way. But anyway, this has been Digimon World 2003 Part 38. I'll be signing off for now. I've been Jay from Gamers You Can, and I'll see you next time.